Fifteen years ago, I was referred a family from Western North Carolina that suffered from a really devastating kidney disease. The disease was called familial juvenile hyperuricemic nephropathy. This disease was autosomal dominant inheritance, which meant that 50% of uh, children of an affected parent would be affected. Family members would suffer from gout in their teenage years, and then they would develop progressive kidney failure and require dialysis or kidney transplantation anywhere between their 30s and their 50s. I was fortunate to work with many excellent people at Wake Forest, including doctors Tom and Suzanne Hart, who were a genetics team here, and we worked together to identify the cause of the kidney disease, which was a mutation in a protein called Tam Horsfeld protein. Uh, Tam Horsfeld protein is the most common protein excreted in the urine, but no one really knew what it did. And when we were able to identify this mutation, we not only learned a lot about this protein, but we were also able to identify other families with the disease. Over time, we were referred about 300 different families uh, that suffered from this or a similar condition. And we started studying really all inherited kidney diseases that are uncommon and for which a genetic cause is not known. We identified about 80 families that had mutations in this Tam Horsfeld or uromodulin protein. And then uh, working with a Dr. Stanislav Kamach in uh, the Czech Republic, we were able to identify families that also suffered from mutations in renin, uh, which were really interesting. Um, these families suffer from anemia in childhood and progressive kidney disease and mild hyperkalemia and mild low blood pressures. More recently, we were able to identify uh, mutations in another gene uh, called mucoprotein 1 as a cause of inherited kidney disease Again, autosomal dominant interstitial kidney disease, uh, but this condition is not usually associated with gout. Once we know the cause of the disease, we can start thinking about treatments. Uh, for patients with the renin mutations, for example, we already have a treatment that we can use to help these patients. The goal of our research is always treatment. We want to find a treatment for these diseases. I'm a clinical doctor first, and when I see these families and all the suffering that they've been through, uh, what we want to do is reach out and help them with an effective therapy. And so we really are not going to stop with our research until we uh, develop such treatments.